guys, Shannon Fox, and you're tuning in to Foxy TV. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. So today, I'm here chilling at Studio One, and I got these amazing guys next to me. Music artists, the Black Kennedys, are in the building. Hello. So I'll let each uh, little handsome fellow here introduce themselves, and then we'll get right down to it about who the Black Kennedys are. You want to start with you? All right. How you doing, y'all? I go by the name of Grand Theft. I go by T Motor King. I'm A.V. Kennedy. I'm Keezy Camacho, a.k.a. Low Key. A.k.a. Low Key, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I always like to start off by asking, like, how did you guys become a group? Like, how did the Black Ken Kennedys become the group? Well, the Black Kennedys are a bunch of talented artists from Pasadena. Um, we end up meeting up through Connections, and we right. started from, from the ground up. It's a more hip, smooth, upbeat music that we're doing nowadays. And we're just trying to give the fans what they want. Okay. Uh, from Pasadena, California, pretty much. We're all from Pasadena, so uh, yeah. small community town. We all felt that uh, music was kind of taking a turn for the worse, so we wanted to make a pact to come together and, uh, and make a change in, in the music industry, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So when you say, because I know I hear from different artists, like some, some artists say, you know, music isn't like what it used to be. What do you guys think is like a difference between like music today and then what it was before in the past? There's no substance. Um, it's all just a game to people. I mean, there's just no substance in it. And we're trying to bring that back to it. Mm -hmm. You know, as, as real hip hop lovers, we all got together to bring, you know, the, the fun back to hip hop, the, the good feeling back to hip hop. And, you know, that's what we're trying to do. Not to mention the instrumentation, too. I mean, yeah. I find that uh, some of the beats these days are pretty uh, bare, to say the least. You know, I'm, I'm used to the soulful music of the, the 70s and the 80s, and I like to bring that back as well. Yes, where you just feel it, like right down yeah. there, right? Absolutely. <laughs> but, you know, and I think people can, they can tell, you know, when it's real music, when you hear it from the artist's you know, from their heart and from the soul, people can tell. Absolutely. And I think people can relate to that a lot more, especially with, you know, with your music. Mm -hmm. So, like, as artists, how do you, or where do you draw inspiration from, either, like, as individuals or as a group for um, music? Okay. Oh, well, I think we draw uh, inspiration from uh, both. I think we draw from each other as a group, as well as uh, past influences. Uh, we like artists that uh, like to work on things and do things organically. Kind of that's what keeps the substance, it keeps the soul in it. Uh, mm -hmm. So I would say like past artists, uh, any specifically that you like to name? Or? Uh, do you have any inspirations that you look up to? Oh, I have uh, a few. Um, they range a wide variety from uh, Nas to uh, Michael Jackson to uh, even Lauryn Hill. You know, it can go all over the place. There's mm -hmm. even Rock Legends, Mick Jagger. So you draw inspiration from different things. It doesn't have to be mm -hmm. one specific uh, facet that you draw inspiration from. Okay. I think you definitely draw from different outlets. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I agree. You guys um, think? The type of music that we do is not like other people, like how they're doing their music. We try to come out with something new, futuristic, mm -hmm. and at the same time have a nice melody that so when you're at work or wherever you're at, you're just listening. Yeah, you're just vibing and like just forget about everything else, right? I like that. <laughs> it's like, take me somewhere else right now, please. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. So like as a group, as individual artists again, what are some challenges that maybe you've come across like as you've been working in the industry and continue growing? Uh, one of the biggest challenges I face is just the ego of the industry. I mean, a lot of people aren't willing to pull their hand back and, and reach up, you know, to, to pull other people back into, mm -hmm. into the game. And Leland is all about that. And uh, that's why I really like uh, working with him because yeah. so he understands that, um, you know, it's not easy. You have to help people. You have to get back, you know, and, and pull people through sometimes. And it's not that easy in, in, in a Hollywood sense, you know, yes. for, for hip hop. Mm -hmm. um, everybody wants to be that kingpin, that boss, you know, nobody wants to be looked at as that, um, you know, that giving hand or that helping hand. Mm -hmm. So I think we need more of that, you know, that's one of the biggest roadblocks in, in the yeah. industry today. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like everyone's trying to compete against each other Absolutely. instead of helping each other. Yeah, it makes no yeah. sense. There's no camaraderie. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do like that about Leland, and I think that's great because you need that, you know, you need that support in the industry, especially if you're going through something or having a hard time or, you know, just day to day struggles as an artist. You need somebody that's going to look out for you and have your back. That's true. That's yeah. True. So, what's been like a, a memorable or most favorite moment that you guys have had as a group so far? 
I would have to say when we were at the Key Club, it was in Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> the stage was so big, we were up, opening up for the alcoholics, okay. and I believe we stole a lot of their fans. Mission accomplished, right? We're trying to make the best music we can, and we're not just going to put out anything that we don't think you would like. So Yeah, yeah that, that was a, a pretty big show for everybody. It's pretty memorable because um, a lot of people came out to that show. Um, we were all together. And, you know, remind you, it's like, we haven't always been together because some people have to move away for some reasons and some people stay behind, but um, we were all there and it was kind of a family event, you know, we had family out, um, it was great, yeah. so yeah. I'd say that's the most memorable. Same for you guys? I, I, I say it right now, I say it right now, this is, this is a pretty memorable moment, <laughs> a nice memorable moment for all of us. Pretty much on your career. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I like that. So, okay, what about, I always like to ask, especially groups, what's some advice for young people, maybe, you know, younger boys that are coming up watching you guys, following you guys on social media, what's some advice that you would give them if they're wanting to do the same thing that you're doing or go down the, the route that you guys are going with music? Uh, never let your hobby become a job. Just mm -hmm. keep the love and the feeling that you always have for it. Never let it become something that it, it's not meant to be because once it becomes that then you really don't need to do it like just mm -hmm. keep it real keep basically it real. keep it real yeah yeah absolutely um, i also like to add too you know as, as a kid you, you just see the the glamour and in, in the in the things that you're trying to do um try not to to look at those results in, in that glamorous life you know um Try to work on your skills first, you know, own your skills and then become a better artist, become a better producer. Um, better person. That's the, the yeah. advice I would give. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Love that. Any other advice? Um, I would just say follow your heart. Like, if you like doing a certain kind of music, you know, do what you want to do, not what's pop at the time. That's a good point. Don't follow the trends. Don't point. try to be like the next person or the, the yeah. popular person right now. What don't I like to no say, do it. you boo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's words of wisdom right here from these great guys. So own your own skills. Do you follow your own heart? I love that stuff. So just real quick, social media, website, how can people find your music? How can they find you, keep up with you? Yeah, Twitter at thekennedys.com. Uh, um, Kennedys.com. Yep. Um, website, yeah. kennedys.com, spelled phonetically K-I-N-I-D. E E Z. Yeah. Can use that call. Definitely. Okay. okay. So what's coming next for you guys? What what can we expect next? A single coming out, a record coming out? We're, what's going on? We're working on a few a projects. projects. Yeah, we're working on a few projects right now. Um, we're in the latter stages of a, a couple projects. Uh, we got Urban Galaxy, we have Function Music. Um, on C D Baby right now we have uh, Hood Commercial, go download that, thank you. Um, iTunes too, go download that Hood Commercial. Um, yeah, uh, just look out for us. We got a good selection for the fans right now. We're, we're about live yes. albums ready yeah. right now, to say yeah. the least. Wow, yeah. five so, albums? Yes, to so look out, you got look to out put for them us. Out then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, look out for us. Stay busy. We're, trying to stay busy. Yeah, I mean, when you love it, there's no stopping. When you love it, there's no stopping. Stop. Especially when y'all got the best producer on board. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. Shout, Shout out to Grand <laughs> Shout out to Grand <laughs> Love that. I love that. So real quick, I always like to ask a, at least one fun question as we wrap up. So in five seconds, name three things you can't live without as an artist. You can just shout them out. Grand Theft. Family. Computer. Radio. Ooh, those are good. I heard Grand Theft. The, 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 the producer. Oh, OK. And then you said computer. Yeah, our Especially in these yeah, days. Um, we our computer, yeah, our computer. Yeah, computer. <laughs> so They're like on. perfectly attached to the hand. Yeah, that's it. We got computers there. We need that backbone. Yes. Your family. Without family. family, it's hard. You know? Yeah. I say music because without music, man, we'd be in the Stone Age. Yes, <laughs> we would. I, I agree. I think the world would go crazy if we had no, no good evolution. tunes to listen to. You know, take your mind No medication, right? No <laughs> <Mental> medication. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Well, thank you guys so much for chatting with thank me you today. You. Hey, you guys, the Black Kennedys are here in the building at Studio One. Make sure you guys check them out. Hit them up. You can find them on all the social media that they listed. And you can also find them here at Studio One. 
So make sure you also join us. Don't forget on social media. You can find us on Foxy TV on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And hey, if you haven't already, be sure you hit that subscribe button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll see you guys again soon. Stay tuned for more. Shannon Fox, Foxy TV, Black Kennedy.